Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is VMware Horizon View Advanced Trading and this is 14th video in this training and in this video we are going to see uh, deployment of highly available HA Horizon View connection server step by step so most of the time we are going to have a one uh, the first uh, server installation which we are going to do in Horizon View it's going to be your uh, Horizon 7 standard server installation which is going to be st your st standalone server for Horizon View inv infrastructure so in case that uh, uh, like uh, your standard server is going to be down you are going to be uh, out of production for Horizon View uh, infrastructure because uh, uh, there was no server um, uh, which is going to handle your connections which is coming to your Horizon View infrastructure and also you are not going to have your administration console for Horizon View so uh, to get out of this issue uh, Horizon have a uh, um, Horizon 7 replications a replica server which is going to uh, copy uh, make the copy of same your production Horizon View connection server and both the server are going to be synced completely so in case any uh, Horizon View connection server is going to be down the second server uh, end user can connect to the second server and they can run the application whatever application they want to use from Horizon View infrastructure so this way we are going to have two two connection server two connection view servers which are going to be synced on the same time to provide a highly available infrastructure for horizon view so in this video we are going to see how we can config install and configure the replica replica server and how the end user can connect to the uh, both of the server and can um, run the application on or the desktop pool which is uh, published in a horizon view infrastructure so let's see what is in our lab infrastructure so we have few uh, three servers and two thin client machines so the first server is ADDS and DNS server which is going to be my uh, win 2 get world DC01 which is my active directory and DNS server so if I go here you can see active directory and DNS server is running on this machine and if I go to local server win 2 get world DC01 so this is my uh, domain victorinfosol.com and if I go here active directory users and computers and servers you can see we have CS01 and CS02 both the servers which is my next connection server so uh, the first in production connection server which is currently now is win 2 get world CS01 and which is my primary connection server so if you go here you can see uh, win to get 12 cs01 which we have installed in earlier videos and you can see we have administration console installed on this machine and if I go to add or remove programs you can see uh, horizon view 7 uh, connection server is installed on this machine so this is our primary standalone server currently which is active in my infrastructure So let's log into administration console. So this is my administration console and if I go to view configuration servers, you can see we have one uh, connection server currently which is uh, 7.0.6 and this is the build version and this is the status. So this is our uh, primary connection server and secondly server which we have is going to be your win 2 get world cs01 so this is win 2 get world cs01 so this is a brand new com server which i have renamed reconfigure the ip address and rename the computer and jo uh, join to domain no application has been installed yet on this machine so this is basically a fresh machine we have not installed any vmware horizon tool so this is going to be our uh, replica server for horizon connection infrastructure so this is going to be a uh, replica of cs02 uh, 01 to 02 so and next we have two thin client machines uh, win 70h01 and win 70h02 both are the thin client machine you can see here if I go here you can see on horizon view client we have added our connection server which is cs01 so 
this is the infrastructure which we have and now I'm going to install my replica server on this uh, CS02 so I have already downloaded the setup in my download folder so if I go to download you can see if we have horizon view uh, horizon connection server setup so I'm going to run this setup so this is a brand new computer which we have joined in our domain CS02 so welcome to the installation of wizard of horizon view connection server so click next I accept the license agreement click next and the path I'm going to leave the default destination folder and this time we need to select the replica server this is going to perform a replica instance of joining the existing server instance so this is going to join your existing server instance which is running here on connection server CS01 so this is good click next and the connection server instance you want to make the part of that group so I'm going to copy the name of this server and CS01 basically and paste it here so you can either put IP address or host name so uh, uh, I have entered the host name of the primary connection server so click next and uh, this is required connection server uh, ports so configure windows automatically it's going to allow the ports which is required so click next and now we are good ready to install so installation is started and now you will see after some time it's going to install the ADLDS role lightweight directory service role on the server so this installation here now you can see adding ADLDS role server role so this is going to be installed on the server itself CS02 so this installation is going to take some time around two to three minutes basically so what I'm going to do I'm going to pause the recording here and once the installation is done I'm going to resume from there and we'll see how we can um, check the um, secondary replica connection server so I'm going to pause the recording for here so the installation completed uh, Horizon View connection server installation is succeeded so we can uh, skip this and click on finish now we can see active directory lightweight ser directory service is installed on this machine also if I go to program and features you can see horizon connection server is installed and HTML access also installed so this is good and now we have also icon on desktop which is horizon 7 administration console so we are good and now I'm going to reboot this server once to get the if changes affected on the server and now if I go here and refresh this connection server on my primary server you can see now we have two connection server CS01 and CS02 and you can see the status and if I go here you can see also here two connection servers now we have a two connection server so this is good and the server is rebooted let's log in again and if I'm going to log in here on connection server so what I'm going to do I'm going to add these servers in both my horizon uh, uh, thin client devices and we'll see what if we are going to connect to this uh, connection server so just wait for copy the name so now I'm going to copy this name and I'm going to add here on both my Horizon View thin client devices so let's wait for some time it's going to initiate the Horizon View services so now if I open this it's going to take some time so now we can see the browser is open with this page and if I go and run here 
it's going to download flash player so now I can um, log into the Horizon View Administration console for either CS01 or CS02 and I am going to see the both server here on a connection server so this is good and in the connection server I can also verify so both server is in a sync now and having the replica copy of this uh, infrastructure Horizon View infrastructure and now if I go here and add this CS02 you can see I'm able to connect with CS02 now either I can connect with CS01 and CS02 both now so this is good and I can also see the publish application which is published here so if I go to catalog desktop pool I can see both the desktop pool which is published here so if I want to connect let's see so currently I have connected with the my connection server 2 and I can s log into my RDS infrastructure and same I am going to do from second server and I can access to get the access to the uh, RDS infrastructure and if I click here I can see the sessions which is running so here you can see the security so security gateway is going to be your CS02 so both the servers can, um, uh, sessions are established by using CS02 so this is the how we can verify which user is using which connection server so in case any of these connection server CS02 or CS01 went down end user can connect by using the second server which is available in infrastructure so basically on a, on a same time we are going to have a two connection server in our infrastructure and both both connection server is going to be um, fully replica so um, if you are going to add anything or remove anything on one connection server it's automatically going to replicate on your second um, uh, connection server and both are going to be synced and uh, in, uh, in case anything goes deleted or modified so so basically this is how we can deploy highly available Horizon V connection server infrastructure and we can uh, create the replica copy of our Horizon V infrastructure so Thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs. Thank you once again. Bye bye.